I'm going to be talking about something that's a little bit different. It's not makeup or anything like that. Now, I'm sure that I've talked about it a little bit in my videos, but I am a Christian. I do love the Lord Jesus. He's my dude, as you can tell by the title. And so in church, we always talk about, you know, like whatever like talent that you have or anything like that, that you should use it in the Lord's favor and do it through him. And I was trying to think, I was like, hmm, I ain't that talented. And so then I just was kind of like thinking about it and I was like, hmm, I do have a YouTube channel though. I just feel like I'm not using my platform as well as I do. I know that I don't even have 500 subscribers yet, but I just felt like I should do this video. I just really do. I didn't prepare what I was going to say, so um, I just hope that the Lord will guide me through it. Everybody's welcome to this video. Just hop right on this video and listen if you want. If you do want to talk to anybody about the Lord and you just don't really have the people in your life that you can really talk to, then you can definitely DM me. My Instagram is Annika Brooks with two S's, so I don't actually know the date of when I was saved. I know that I probably should and that's actually like terrible. But um, I think that it was around like third grade or something like that. I didn't really comprehend. I'd always ask, how do you get saved? I wanted to be so mature in it and I just wasn't mature. Like I didn't really know. I just, I didn't really get the whole concept of Christianity. I just really didn't get it. I guess I was too young. I always ask, how do you get saved? And my mom and dad would always say to just ask Jesus into your heart. And I took that so literally. Legitimately thought that I had to pray and be like, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. And then I thought that I was going to hear like a booming voice from heaven or something. That was like, okay. Like, I didn't really understand it. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny, like, that's, like, legitimately, like, what I thought. I thought that I was supposed to hear it verbally, like, yes, I didn't understand it. I was just too young. Eventually, I was finally at the age where I was mature enough, and I kind of understood the whole entire concept, and I was like, wait, like, I don't have to do all that. Even some of you who might not even be Christian, I mean, if you are, like, raised in a church, and, um, you just heard the word ABCs, then you knew what they meant admit, believe, confess, and I did that, and then I was saved, and I mean, I was a little bit young, I think that I was in elementary, but my relationship, it just wasn't really that strong with God, um, I didn't read my Bible at night, and I didn't, you know, I just didn't have that relationship with him, I did believe in him, he was my Lord and Savior, I just didn't, you know, I didn't really do anything about it, but eventually as the years went on, uh, my relationship with Jesus, it did grow, and I went to the stage, I'm not really going to say that I was like depressed, because I mean like, I mean that's a little bit of an overstatement, I wasn't really, like I would cry, but I mean, who doesn't cry in their life, it's just kind of a, I was in desperate need, I was really praying, um, I just really wanted some friends, I just had a really really hard time with that. And you know, I just prayed for school because I just feel like it wasn't my fit, I'm not going to go into any details on why I didn't think that it was fit for me just for the sake of peace. This wasn't the right fit for me, but um, private school just wasn't really an option. So I prayed for it. I didn't really know what was going to happen. I was just kind of praying and I wasn't really believing. Like I didn't believe that God could actually do it. Like I knew that he could. I don't know in that area. I just really, really lacked faith. I feel like some of you will know what I'm saying and some of you will not know what I'm saying, but I don't really know how else to describe it. I was really praying, not believing, just kind of like talking and um, on the nights where I was alone and I didn't have anybody to hang out with, I would always read my Bible and that's where my relationship with Jesus really grew. I can look back on that and think like, wow, that really was a blessing because during the hard times, my relationship with Jesus just became so much closer. So um, if you're going through anything in your life right now, just know that it is for a reason, sounds cheesy, but um, it is for a reason. Whenever you reflect back all the troubles that you went through, you'll see that it shaped you into the person of who you are and who your friends are and um, your relationship with Jesus and your family and just everybody. It really does shape you, so whenever you're going through trials, just know he is with you. I didn't really think about it at the time. It didn't really make sense, but now it's just all making sense, and I will get into that later. So I went to middle school, it just wasn't my fit, I just really, really struggled. And then in high school, it just got a lot worse. <laughs> Again, not going to go into detail for peace, but it just it just wasn't my fit. I really, really did not want to be there. Long story short, um I left the school and for a whole entire week I didn't go to school. And I was just thinking, what on earth am I gonna do? Like, this is bad. <laughs> But we did have friends at church that were sitting there talking about the school. 
that um, they go to. And it's a private school, so we were like, this is the perfect fit. This is great. And so then we did. And um, yeah, I'm still going to this school. I enjoy it a lot. And I'm just so blessed. I know that most of my school is watching. It's a small school, so like I know that like 50% of it at least is watching. So hey, <laughs> I'm blessed with so many great people in my life and then god just sent me a load of really really good friends and some really really good best friends you know who you are and i can just look back to my sixth grade self this is gonna sound so depressing i really don't mean it to sound as depressing as it is but i just remember my sixth grade self being in my bed just thinking that there was no hope for my answered prayer and i really really struggled with that in life and i'm not saying that it was okay i'm not condoning it at all but i just that's where I lacked my faith the most. But God, he turned the situation around. I was praying for something like that for four years, and I just thought that there wasn't an end to it. And then I was blessed with my perfect fit for school and so many good friends, and I've just been so blessed. So I really, really felt the need to share that. I mean, I've always grew up in a Christian home, and I've always, you know, grew up being a Christian and being saved and I didn't have anything drastic happen in my life. I didn't kill anybody and then have my life turned around or anything like that. So it's not really anything that interesting. I wasn't like a drug dealer or like a fighter or anything like that. So I mean, it isn't that cool of a story, but um, I just really wanted to share with you guys how blessed I am in my life and how my relationship with Jesus has just became so much closer. Don't think that I think that I'm perfect or anything like that or I have my whole entire life together because I don't. Even whenever you're a Christian, you're not going to have your life together. Certainly, because I'm a mess. <laughs> I fail. I fight with my sibling. I do all this kind of stuff. I'm not perfect, but um, I know that Jesus is by my side and that he's forgiving me, which does not give me an excuse to do whatever I want to do just because he does forgive me. I'm not saying that. But I know that I don't even have to pray for forgiveness because it's already been there. It's already been a clean slate ever since Jesus died on the cross for us. So, yeah. Y'all still have y'all's free will. I'm not gonna, like, threaten y'all or anything. But I just feel like this video is needed. And as I said, you can definitely talk to me. If you're going through a difficult time and you just don't feel like anybody's there for you, just know that God's there for you. And, um, that he'll definitely get you through it. And if you want somebody to be there to also verbally talk with you, I'm definitely here. You can DM me if you can tell me about your troubles, and I'll try to help you. I'm not that good with advice, but I'm a good listener. <laughs> um, after this video, don't think that you can't DM me and ask me questions. You can definitely ask me anything that you want, and I will be there to help you. I don't have all the answers. I'm not the Christian Google. I don't know everything. So, like, don't think that I'm, like, this, like, wisdom person who's gonna, like, you know tell you everything in the whole entire universe because I have the secret to it because that's not right. I didn't really know where to end this video so I think that I'm going to end it right here but God's still definitely working on me. So yeah, I hope that this video isn't too long. I just wanted to get my point across and yeah, like, subscribe, do that stuff. I love you guys so, so much. Have an amazing, beautiful day and bye.